hi people of god i welcome you all back once again to this channel yes you are highly welcome so um i'm actually making this video not because of hate or because of anything or because of any kind of stuff at all no i'm not making this video because of hatred but because of love so in this video i would like to talk about um like things that is going on now on social media yes things that is going on on media yeah i know that someone may say that yeah leave them is their life everybody have the right to live the life that he or she wants to live yes i know that is your life your life is yours but there is one thing you must understand that that life does not belongs to you that life that you claim is yours belongs to someone who is that person? Who does your life belong to? It belongs to God Almighty. Yes, your life belongs to God Almighty. I want to talk to our beautiful sisters, um, social media influencers. You understand? With the way that they are coming out, with the way of their dressing, I think maybe they are thinking that it is only adults that is watching them. No, children are watching us all. Children are watching us so you can see a child with his mother phone or that with his father's phone You don't know what this child is doing with the phone. This child is busy going through his parents phone And there are some times When you as a mother or that you as a father is busy watching something that is inside your phone Your child may be standing at your back and you will not know Watching the same thing that you are watching with the way our ladies are getting naked all in the name of fashion is alarming Yes, it's very very alarming They will say that it's their life. I should leave them to live their life You have the right to live your life, but don't forget the one who has given you that life to live What are we learning from you actually? What are we learning from you? Are you teaching us how to come online and be naked? Yes, I know that we are living in a social media era. We are living in a social media time. Yes, and everybody has the right to do what they want to do. Please don't overdo it. Yes, don't overdo it. Let us all live a life of legacy for the upcoming children. Just take a look around you. See how children of nowadays are being wise. Imagine you living your life anyhow. Imagine you living a stupid legacy for the children. What is going to become of them in their future? Why are you why are you exposing your body? Why are you exposing your body? The Bible said that our body is the temple of the Spirit of the Most High God. Let us make that temple to be holy. Let us make that temple to be pure. God cannot dwell in a body that is not being covered. Yes, you have to cover your body. I am not telling you to cover your face, to cover every part of your body. But try to cover the sensitive part of your body. It's very important for you as a woman. Or do you think that by dressing in that way, that you are using it to entice men? It is a man that don't have dignity that you will entice by going naked on social media. Yes! It is the man that don't have dignity that you will be able to entice by going naked on social media. That is it. That is the gospel truth. It's the gospel truth and nothing but the truth. So please let us try to leave a good legacy for our upcoming children. If you don't leave a good legacy for them, how is their future going to turn out to be? So let us leave a good legacy for our children. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, okay? Subscribe, follow me if you have not yet followed me. God bless you. I will see you again on my next one. Bye.